All right, let's talk some equipment. So you want to do some fabulous recording. The first thing you need to do is get some equipment. And there's some very, very basic stuff that I have purchased. Um, I am not affiliated with these products in any way. I don't make any money off these products. I am in no way recommending these products. I'm just saying that I use them and so far they've worked out okay for me. At some point, I plan on upgrading these products, but you want to get started and you need something that is reasonably priced because let's face it, you're an indie author or maybe you're just starting your narrating journey and you can't afford much. <laughs> so, we're going to talk about this lovely item. This is a pop filter. So this is what I have actually right here in front of the microphone. I have jigged it up and put a little twist tie on there, clipped it onto the lovely stand mm. that you can kind of see um, in my little box with me in it. So this is a pop filter. And the idea is that when you go those hard p -p -p P's or B's or, you know, M's, those, those types of noises that are um, sometimes, you know, if you don't have it, it kind of sounds like you're spitting into the microphone. It sounds really bad, but it's true. So this idea is that this will hopefully even out that tone, catch that kind of sound, and it distributes it away so that it's not as sharp as when you're saying pop versus pop, you know, that type of idea. So the pop filter... I think I got it. Huh, it's currently unavailable. That's funny. Um, I got mine for like, I think it was like $24. This is Canadian. Um, that included the shipping over. So have a look for it. You want a pop filter. The other thing, obviously, that you would like that is super important is a really good microphone. Now, I purchased this microphone twice. Once um, it didn't come in time and I asked for a refund and for some reason it came. And then I got the second one and I was like, whoops. So I gave it to a friend and uh, it's all good. I really do like this microphone. It's a Fi Fine microphone. Um, I Actually, if you see the screen right up there, I'm sorry, I probably like just pointed right in front of you. But anyhow, if you see the screen and you see where the dial is set, that's literally where I have my dial set right now. So I put it at half volume and it works great for me. I didn't end up using any other um, like little filter over top because you can have a filter that you actually put on top of it, kind of like a, you know, a sock for it more or less, but it looks nicer. It's a real filter. Um, I find that these are fairly cheap uh, microphones, but the quality is actually really good on it. And I know that you can upgrade to better, obviously, as you go along. But as a starter one that plugs right in, plugs and plays right into the computer, that makes it super easy because you don't have to download anything. You just plug, play, away you go. You know, switch it to the USB microphone and it works. Um, you might have to play with your volume a little bit, depending on where you are, what you're doing. And it comes with this little uh, tripod. So at first, when I first started recording, I had the tripod. Um, don't recommend tripod. <laughs> and the reason I don't recommend a tripod is because you get a really bad crick in your neck, kind of, you know, hunched over, talking to the microphone while you're trying to look at the screen. And it just doesn't work well. So don't do it. Don't go there. Um, just, just go with the next purchase, um, which is our lovely arm which you can see somewhat on the screen so let's bring over that tab and i got all these items right off of amazon for fairly cheap so i think all in all i'm under a hundred dollars for a starter kit basically uh these i got i have no idea what the name of the store is it's this cute little store these are like 10 14 dollars i don't know what they are but they're just an easy bluetooth wireless um ear set so you can hear the quality come back to you. Uh, I probably could upgrade these because they're not that 100% great of quality. They're okay though. Now, coming back to the arm. So the arm here, now one problem that I did have is as much as it says that it is compatible with the Fi Fine K670, which I believe is this. Um, let me see, let me see. Is this the Fi Fi K670? Uh, no, it's a Fi Fine USB microphone. It doesn't say it's a K670. 
So it's not that. But as much as it might say that it is compatible with it, it's not. So this lovely piece, I'm going to put the mouse there, um, right there, I had to rejig it. So some of the original components are gone. Some of them I inverted and made it work. If you're not techy like that, you might want to look for a stand that will fit that microphone, or you might want to look for a microphone that will fit this stand. You know, double check, do your research, find something that fits together right away so that you don't have to go, hmm, do I really need this part? How shall I squeeze this into here and make it fit? Because that's what I did. <laughs> so this lovely microphone stand is exactly that. You can, um, you can change how high or low it goes you have to you have like a little knob on there you can also there's a little knob at the base here i don't I'm not sure if you can see that or not but you should be able to see it on the mid side there's a little knob at the base so that you can tighten it up if you want to i leave mine loose uh, that way i can swing it so i can swing this out of the way when i'm done recording and i just want to work on other stuff or i can swing it into my path so it makes for easy recording it also came with the lovely little um filter cover which kind of likened to a sock before. And I don't personally use that, but I know that other people have. So for me, it did work. It's not 100% compatible with the microphone that I am using, but I made it work for me. So again, these are all things I highly recommend not doing a tripod. I highly recommend doing a boom mic because you can sit comfortably. I can move my rolling chair. I can get comfortable. I can lean back if I really wanted to get it up in there, or I can lean forward a little bit. I can have it as close or far away from me as I want. I can move my angle. Um, and it just, it just makes it a lot easier. Okay. So you want to be comfortable when you are recording your narration, when you're narrating your audiobook. So you want to be as comfortable as possible and have equipment which isn't sitting too tight, is at a nice level that you can adjust and that will do the job for fairly inexpensively. Um, as always, look at your reviews, see what's going on. And like I said, I have nothing to do with any of these companies that make these, ship these. Um, I just this is the equipment that I'm currently using and it does an okay job. Is it perfect? Is it like 100% fantastic? I'm sure there's much better that money could buy, but I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> and uh, you don't either, which is why you came to me and said, um, let's find out what's going on. Sorry, I knocked my lovely laptop there and I'm of course recording through the webcam today because again, that's what I have. And when that's what you have, that's what you have. So if you you know, make do with what you have, right? Um, and then otherwise get something for fairly cheap. Now, one other thing that I do have, which I do recommend, because you're going to be putting in um, with this, you're going to be using USB. I don't know how you are. I like to have a second monitor. So I have a second monitor. It is a Samsung. It was a fairly cheap one. It's just a nice little one, easy to work with. So having a second monitor is great. And then I also have... Um, like a extra USB port. So I plug it in and it's got like four USB um, areas. So it's easy peasy to plug and play and put extra stuff in, uh, especially like the microphone. And just depending on how many USB things you have to use, because I do still use USB sticks quite a bit. Most people will email their stuff or they'll go to the cloud, but it's just one of those extras that you may find is worthy. Um, mine is a black black rock black black something uh you know the one with the little spider on it the one who made this uh, you think if it was sell me what it made no it won't tell me what it's made from my keyboard's made there too my mouse is made there too so yeah you know the little spider on it that brand i so far i found them to be good um so yeah i have my mouse and my keyboard there and it's just a quick little USB plug-in as well. And it's all made by the same company for that. So those are easy enough. Uh, this wireless one is a plug-in USB to charge it, but once it's charged, you take it off. So it's not so big of a deal. So that's, that's what I have for equipment. And then on our next video, if you continue to watch this, we're going to look at some of our 
programs that we use. So there's some different programs that we use and we're going to get into the settings of them. And I'll be happy to share that information with you next time on uh, getting your narrating journey started. So look for your equipment, do your research, see what, uh, what works best for you. Definitely try to make sure that this um, microphone and your stand are compatible and then uh, go from there. You don't have to blow your budget just, just to do this. Like I said, for under hundred dollars, I had my microphone, my pop filter, and my stand, no problem. So, and that's Canadian. If you're in the U S it's going to cost you less. So <laughs> anyway, uh, have a great day and we will talk to you later. In the meanwhile, happy listening. Click the share button, uh, like this video, subscribe, hit the little bell so you won't miss any future videos when it comes to us sharing all our narrating tips and other writing tips. And uh, enjoy the videos. Keep watching Josephine Bintema.